uh, F norms become quite a phrase in the whole industry. You happy about that? I'm happy about it. Grab a bucket! We got a fuel port words from my buddy Norm here. When you get to the obstacles and you fail, which I hope you all fail at least one. An obstacle race. I look for every natural obstacle I can find using natural trails, rocks, trees, go underneath trees, anything I can find that's natural makes it more enjoyable, makes it more adventurous. That needs to be higher. We're going to transition from the rope to here. This is going to be a high failure rate. It's going to be high. Do you have any idea what the course looks like until before you get here? No. That's all kept secret. I actually don't want to hear about it because I think mentally he psychs me out a little bit. Like, even if he's not doing it, sometimes he tells me some ideas or, oh, this is going to be so hard. Well, my intention is to get them wet early and keep them wet as much as possible. Not, not their full body but the lower extremities, and that will that, that actually make them have to push harder to finish the race and really dig down deep for that what I like to call grit. I love norm courses. I love, everybody else hates them. They're like, oh, F norm. Norm courses are my favorite. I had someone come up and said, that was just, that was almost criminal what you did to us. I really try and focus on making people strive to be better. When people flip me off or um, cuss me out, it's kind of a compliment. <laughs>